السلام عليكم جميعا آه نبدا الان دير كوليج فريندز براذر سيسترز رمضان كريم فور اول اوف يو مي الله بليس يو وان شاور ذا بليسنجز اوف رمضان اون اول اوف يو whether you are Muslims or non-Muslims because the blessings of Ramadan should not be only restricted to uh, the Muslim people because Muslim people should be able to reflect the spirit of Ramadan to their colleagues, their neighbors, their friends, and their relatives who are not Muslims. Today we'll talk again about uh, my message to young people, which I delivered in Arabic, uh, four days ago, and I thank my colleague Ali who prepared the media production for this. Uh, can we change the slide, Ali? Why I am talking about my messages to young people? I looked back at my last 10 talks to you and with you, and I found this very essential. At, a, at the end of each talk, I was delivering a special message for young people like all of you. Why? First of all, to keep directing young people like you to play their role or roles in their societies and countries. Number two is study and learning the history of their countries and their societies and the civilization and uh, ancestors informing your people, young people, about the wealth of the country. Very important that the people, the young people know how rich are their countries and their societies. Uh, number three, knowing the real role models, not the role models being created by the media or political ruling parties. Uh, Uh, observing the principles and manners and ethics and values and culture of the religions. Being all the time positive, 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 and taking initiatives, exploring the potential of your fellow citizens and empowering them to enable them to become community leaders. Uh, shouldn't give up at all. Should never give up. And should never surrender to despair, depression, uh, isolation, and withdrawal symptoms from the public sphere. Do not stop learning. Keep learning. Keep learning and passing knowledge. Keep learning, teaching, and passing knowledge. Protect uh, themselves by building the smallest unit. And young people like you should be protecting themselves by getting married, building the smallest unit of the civil society in the country. Uh, to be able to live and uh, with all different kinds of people, culture, different culture, different uh, religion, different values, different races, and you, like we are actually in Europe, too many people in America, all of them are different. Respecting the neighborhood of your uh, uh, neighboring countries, believing that Allah has created enough provision, rizq, to everyone, everyone. Every flying, walking, creeping, diving, swimming, digging, tunneling creatures of Allah. He never, he, ne he created all this and with risk, with risk written for them. Believing that Allah forbid injustice on him and made it forbidden for all of one of us. So don't ever use injustice. The creator state and confirmed that no one, no one, Whoso, whatsoever happened will be ruling on his planet and his kingdom without his permission. So all those kings and queens and presidents and uh, uh, princes and uh, uh, emperor and uh, sheikh and amir are ruling their country by the permission of Allah. We have a short life to live on this planet. And Allah Give us our provisions. Please don't fight for the small, short life and look up for the greater life to come. This was the aim to collect. Why I'm collecting these messages in my last 10 lectures or talks to you. The first talk was about uh, using social media, the negative and positive. And I mentioned this, the positive one is 
the five, the, the average age, age of those who create the top five social media platform was what? 26 and a half years. The youngest was 20 years and the oldest was 37 years. In average, if they started two years before that, so the average age of all of them will be between 23 to 25 years. You know how much these uh, five platforms were raising in 2019? 138 billion dollars. These actually nine young people. The nine young people like you started building the industry of social media that managed to change cultures, values, convictions, manners of the people globally in less than two decades from 2004 well, less than two decades now, 2021. They created five most influential social media platforms, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, and TikTok. And there is the number of people using platform, these platforms are increasing by the second. And at the same time, such an industry uh, is always evolving itself to produce more platforms, most recently, the clubhouse that you can see nowadays. So we talked about these nine young people who was at the age from 20 to 37. What are we doing now, you and me, as young people? Are we going excessively to spend our time using this platform to an extent that cannot can prevent us from performing our daily duties and activities? Are we going constantly to keep watching sports, competition, uh, football competition, league championship, football league championship, and to following the personal life of the superstars? Are we going to be busy watching action movies, drama, theatrical plays, listening to songs, music, living inside the lifestyle of the superstars? Uh, of these uh, uh, movies and uh, drama? Uh, are we going to create our own virtual inflatable world to live inside it, like a balloon that has nothing to do with the reality of societies outside? Are we going to become busy thinking how to make quick money, earning, that will make us rich and famous in no time without having the principles of building our social life? Are we going to live inside illusion of our own make, which will affect us with boring frustration, withdrawal, isolationism, polarization, and we could be picked up and uh, recruited by terrorist organization? So what are we going to do? In my opinion, young people, we have to believe that's what we need to go to do, to be believing in a society that we want to serve in our ability, believing in our ability and capabilities, believing in gaining the relevant scientific, technological, and social knowledge that will enable us to find the right solution for our social problems, believing in, in bridge building and partnership between different individuals and communities in our societies, believing in staying as in, 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 in trying, can you remove? In believing in trying, the one before that. Can you bring down after that, please? Believing in trying as many attempts as we can to make the necessary social change. Keep trying, keep trying, keep trying. Believing that the individual can take any halal and legitimate job, no matter how little or low is such a job. Believing in protecting the values, culture, histories, and faith of our societies, believing that the family is the foundation of societies, believing in finding innovative, creative solution, paraphrasing the mindset of young people, as we have seen these nine people did of the social media. Believing that patience and perseverance are the solid part of our enabling characteristics needed to make the necessary social change. Believing that the journey of the 1,000 mile starts with one footstep, but in the right direction. I don't have a magic solution for all of you. No, 
No, I am not having the, the stake of Moses السلام, or the ability of Jesus السلام, and, the, and what I'm saying is not a Quran. What I'm saying, it is an interpretative judgment that we might agree or disagree upon it. Young people, please, let us draw together a social roadmap to build our society. That map we can build our society. Create a new culture and values that can resist these aggressive, vicious, uh, cultural attacks by others, leading to social division, community displacement, homelessness of people. Are we going to walk the first step of defining the dimensions of the problems facing our societies? Or are we going to be secluded, separated, isolated, and reality yani, from the social surrounding? This is my talk to you, or my interest to you, was in the first talk about social media. The link of my talk at the bottom of the uh, screen. The second talk was about economy. How can we build uh, a national economy? The message of building the free independent national economy is exactly the same as the message of building free and decent life for whom? For every citizen of the country. The only people who will be able to do that is you or those individuals who are believing, sincere, experienced, and professionals in different aspects of economical lives concerning the citizens, the state, and the country. Let us, let us declare, you and me, or you and, or you and me, that what we see as an economical growth in some countries in the East is not really an economical growth. It's not. Or in the West, is not really an economical growth. You know what it is? It is the processing process of stealing assets, stealing assets, natural resources, and tearing part tearing apart societies of different countries, particularly Africa. It's up to you, young people. I'm younger than you, and I'm challenging you. It's up to you, young people, young, sincere, and conscious people, to realize that the most sincere amongst you are those ones who, are, who will be able to build the national economy of their country. And Surah Yusuf, Allah said, and Allah defeats his command, but most people do not know. The, the link for the talk is at the bottom. The third talk for all of us was about the donor reluctance, actually, to donate. My first part of this message to the young people was about their characteristics. Then I will, the other message will be at the end. Who are you? Who are us as young people? You are the hope, the urge, the energy, and the action. You are the culture, the values, the characteristics, and the peaks. You are the assets, brains, foremost, and top. You are the steadiness, reasonableness, appropriateness, and support. You are all these characters are from you. You are the attribution, chivalry, honor, and prevention. You are the couriers, judges, shepherd, and protectors. You are the callers, throwers, conquerors, and builders. You are the giving, the generosity itself, purity, and the existence. You are the prayers, wishes, glamour, and eminence. You are the thoughts, remembrance, thankfulness, and dwellings. You are the presence, future, past, and history. You are the way, you are the friends, you are the companion, you are the peer. You are the challenge, perseverance, promise and eternity, you are the will, happiness, leadership, and pioneering. Young people, you are having these characteristics and more. I'm just trying to tell you what you have in you that sometimes you might not be able to discover what you have of good characters. You are the only one who can create the status of the sustainable existence of societies that can provide the right of living for everyone, the right of living for everyone. You are the only one who can fulfill their dreams, dreams of the poor, construct their renaissance, and build their civilization. 
our trust in you is everlasting. We wish you peace and do from Allah prosperity and from prophets peace be upon them companionship and from societies satisfaction. The link for this talk is at the bottom about why we don't give or reluctant to give money to uh, Muslim or non-Muslim charities. Talk number four is who to whom we give our zakat, sadaqa, wills and legacies and endowment and work giveaways and vows and others. Let me start by declaring some, some statements. Humanitarian and charitable work became a profession like any profession, like medical, engineering, education, commercial, investment, economy, industry, agriculture, security, military, and other professions. Charitable work is a social industrial system overlapping with all the walks of life in our societies. Humanitarian and charitable work is not a profession of those who have no profession. Humanitarian and charitable work is not emotional improvisation carried out by those who have no knowledge or experience of it is framing and guiding tracks and systems. Humanitarian charitable work is flowing in the flowing dream in the hearts of the poor, glittering lights in the eyes of the needy, glowing feeling inside the sensation of the oppressed, crowding pulse in the souls of the widows, and renewable hope in the consciousness of the period. This is the definition of humanitarian and charitable work. Young people, our responsibility is making these, these, all this scientific reality. Number one, civilizing value. Number two, economic recovery. Number three, educational encyclopedia. Number four, future path to build future leadership. This is our dream, our, our responsibility. Humanitarian and charitable work is a manner, message, mission, stature, values, culture, ideological philosophy, ideological philosophy building, and lightning, uh, ideological philosophy building, and lightning, the weaving of the social infrastructure. This is the humanitarian and, social and, and uh, charitable work. Humanitarian and charitable work is partnership with whom? With the poor and the needy who are the real owners of our organizations. Humanitarian charitable work is a mean and the objective at the same time. It is a mean for removing hardship from the needy, orphans, widows, displaced people, and those who lost their rights to live a respectable life. This is a mean. As an objective to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, empowering the needy, building societies, establishing peace, safety, social justice, renaissance, then building civilization. The means and a and mean and objective. Humanitarian and charitable work is a responsibility that mountains earth skies refuse to carry but human like you and me carried it out of their ignorance they were unjust and foolish as allah said in the holy quran humanitarian charitable work also is an access to heaven if we properly fulfill our duties but if not we will fall into the depth of hellfire with the hypocrites humanitarian and charitable work is sending the spirit of hope into the hearts of the oppressed, bewildered, displaced, marginalized people. This is the humanitarian charitable work. That's why in this talk, I was, I was yani, yani, uh, stressing about to understand what is the humanitarian charitable work. And the, and the link is at the bottom, as you can see it on the slide.
Uh, the other talk was about equation for dividing zakat. How people, a lot of people talking about uh, zakat uh, here and there. Uh, so this was about, uh, yeah, three, four weeks ago. Anyway, the information technology revolution and the rising plethora of social media platforms led the whole world to live inside what? Inside a small screen, you can see it here. Oh, this is the world. This, this, this became our world. Not a room, not a house, not a village, not a country. This is our world. This is not a strange outcome, it is a fact and reality. This led to a major changes in our cultures, values, moralities, habits, philosophy of thinking, uh, social norms, even faith and belief, changing everything. This has affected different aspects of our lives. Please, young people, don't make it harder for your communities Otherwise, Allah might make it life more difficult for all of us. We are not in a competitive fundraising. Zakat is not a competition raised with one another. We are complementing with one another to join forces together and unite our efforts. We are not bidding for of the importance for the role, for the, for the, we're not bidding for the role of the importance, for the importance of the, the awaited role you are going to play. We're not bidding for the role, for the importance of the role you are waiting, uh, awaited to, to play, or the enormous responsibility that you are going to carry. Please, seeking, keep seeking knowledge, but from the trusted sources of knowledge. Please don't do the following. What are the following? Don't listen to those who carry you to follow, strangely enough to say. Sometimes people have got very eloquent, glamorous speeches. Those people have now reminded horizon of jurisprudential opinions. Those people have silver-tongued, assonant, elegant, well-written speeches. Those people who are reading and are reading and understanding histories don't be reading and understanding histories from television drama. Those people who listen to a fatwa or the jurisprudential opinions from those who are not eligible for giving fatwa or relying on Google and Wikipedia opinion. No, don't do that. Please, young people, remember that zakah is one of the five pillars of Islam. And we call it, it's building the social zakat institution. Why I, we call it social zakat institution as one of the sheikhs in the Middle East called it, Dr. Ali Al-Quradaghi, because it is the only pillar of Islam having a principles of people working for it. So if you have somebody telling you, don't take any penny from zakat, sorry, 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 you are not understanding why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made this, this part of zakah to be spent on the people who are collecting zakah, spending the zakah, and making actually study on the people who need zakah and others. So it's zakah by itself is an institution. I beg you young people to learn the Arabic language, not because I'm an Arab, no. No. No, no way. If you are Muslims, because it is, uh, because what? It is the ma it, if I'm Muslim or not Muslim, because this is the master of all languages, no doubt. No doubt. This is number one. And for the Muslims, it's the knowledge entrance for the religion, culture, faith, and the history of your ummah. But for the non-Muslims, it is the master of all languages. The master of all languages is the master of all language. And bring you back to the the the, the, the top civilization uh, created by the Arabs, uh, Muslims at that time for about nearly, nearly, nearly eight, nine hundred years. Listen to this hadith of the Prophet 
which is saying this religion is strong. Therefore, enter it with gentleness. Don't hit hard. For the one who has fatigued his mount and is unable to continue his journey, that is, the one who is excessive has neither a riding animal nor can he travel. And when you go to such becoming a good, a good believer, don't do it aggressively. And, ah, I'm going to do it. No, take it slowly, progressively, and gently. And make it make make life easy for your family, make life easy for your wife, make life easy for your children. If you can make uh, stand up the whole night, your children might not be able to do that. Your wife might not be able to do that. So make the balance. Young people, go ahead having the blessing of Allah and he will support you, no doubt. But you have to realize the following. Number one, you have a long way to go. You have less support and little supply. You will face a lot of challenges and none of, and one of the most effective foundation of success for success is learning, 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 and seeking knowledge. Knowledge such as applied societal science, cognitive cultural science, science of religious dogma, and experimental laboratory science. All this different kind of scientific knowledge you have to seek getting it. I remember uh, Imam Ahmed ibn Hanbal, he used to say, something which is very nice my i have this which is like the ink pot with me taking it with me till i die so i keep writing all his knowledge as an imam as at the age of 70 after being tortured by the khalifa in the prison for about three years but he did not stop writing his knowledge without science technology and scientific knowledge, we cannot build our societies. And through ignorance, renaissance stops. Civilization disappears. And you find you have found many magnificent civilization do not exist anymore because the people became ignorant. Please, young people, know that freedom is the foundation of innovation, empowerment, loyalty social cohesion, leading to renaissance, creation, and civilization. This is freedom. This is freedom. This is freedom. Please, young people, know that freedom is not a gift, grant, or present given to you by someone else. No, it's not. It, is, it should be grabbed by the people from the trap and grip beneath the fangs of the corrupt tyrants. Don't leave it for the tyrants. Please, young people, live as free, innovative, pioneering, shoulder to shoulder, and construct society and become constructive society builder to make the creator and his creation happy with you. The link for the talk is at the bottom. I made these three talks about the parallel lines or the geometric lines building civil societies. Talk number one and number two and number three. Talk number one was about us building the house. Number two, going to the social services. Number three, connecting. We are, what are we, what we are doing? And what we, this is the first talk, first part. What we are doing and what we want to do Young people is not magic, juggling astrology or indiscriminately and random practice of thinking, but it is a, it's based on scientific knowledge, facts, figures, practice, and tried successful experience. So it's based on scientific knowledge, facts, figures, practice, and tried successful experience as well. It's based on the belief in the moral values 
culture and needs of whom of society that we claim that we are going to help society that we want to save from the darkness of ignorance unconsciousness unreasonableness uh, bewilderness confusion and being astray we want to be the savior for them young people we are your fathers and mothers grandparents and we will be eliminating those dark roads for you with one of these two methods one of these two methods number one we will take the risk of taking the first step inside the darkness of the social societal ignorance to eliminate its road path with our souls spirit and lives even if none of you or the very few of you join us because of the lack of resources the inability to understand our message or you being distracted by the very compelling challenges threatening your existence but we are going to go ahead to go ahead and we are doing it at the moment number 2 will illuminate for you the long, steep, rocky, dangerous, dark path by lighting a very small candle. You see this candle? Where its light will never go beyond the few steps we walked because of the lack of provided resources to allow a fewer more young people to join us. But we will do it even with a candle. Even with a candle, even with a candle. But if we want with you or you want with us to build, we want what to build this flow inside different cycle paths, you have to drive us through the urging power of your immortal creative souls providing us with the hope. It's you who will be leading us. Hope driven from the deeply rooted, steady, and stable belief. In your hearts we are walking through this path inside the corridors and vestibules of the created life by allah to worship him and through such worship will spread the principles of social justice freedom fairness and respecting the dignity of humanity including animals birds habitats, climate, as well as other creation were created by Allah to serve human beings. Very important to us. Young people, are you ready? I cannot see this. Uh, uh, can you remove this green? Uh, green? Are you? The green, the green, the green. No, no, the green, uh, the green. Take the green one up or down. Are you uh, ready to join us to achieve the hopes, fulfill the dreams, and see through the vision of the poor, through the vision of who? The vision of the poor, the displaced, the marginalized, and be worthy, disenfranchised, powerless people. See through their vision. Are you ready to see through their vision? Are you ready to make Allah, his messengers and prophets to be happy with us? Are you ready, young people, to carry the burden of responsibility where mountains, skies, and other great creation of God refuse to carry such a burden? Are you ready to offer sacrifices for others? Are you ready to walk the walk and talk the talk with us? If you are ready, please let us join hands and hands together. The link for the talk, the first talk of building this geometry inside the society is at the bottom. Talk number two is geometric alliance of building civil society. Talk number two. In my previous talk, which you just mentioned, my message was to you, young people, we discussed how to start 
our movement inside what? Inside the creation of the social infrastructure inside the parallel, parallels with history. Then we created path through the needs for more social services for citizens. Every path was created to respond to social service. Then in parallel, building composites or compounds to manage the flow of societies inside the path and coordinating the connecting path as well as creating coordination between different composites inside different path. It is very good, very beautiful, but you have to realize it, you have to imagine it, you have to be inside the vision of the poor once this composite and compounds to be created. Today, young people, I request from you to dive with me where deeply inside the human souls and the required social services, as I mentioned before. The more you go down to the souls, the more you find they need more and more and more of service that you can deliver to them. Are you really young people again with patience and perseverance to meet what? The challenges of what are ahead of the challenge. The challenges of researching, prospecting, analyzing, organizing, classifying, managing the process of change, then publicly declaring it. The process of change needs this and more, and most of the Muslim churches do not believe in this kind of thing. And not only the Muslim churches, and the other churches as well. Are you ready to take the burden of advocating for justice to protect the rights of your fellow citizens? This is the challenge. Because we are meeting the needs of the people now. Are you ready to carry the burden of changing the social philosophy of thinking of society? Very beautiful and very difficult. Can we change? Can we send the social philosophy of thinking of societies? And then confronting corrupt and corrupt, corruption and corrupt individual? Are you ready to reach out for everyone living on the planet? Earth, human being, himself became a society or herself became a society. Are you ready to reach to everyone living on the planet? I became a society because through this, I became a society. So instead of reaching out for the hundreds of thousands of populist societies, you will be reaching for billions of individual citizens because each citizen now through the social media and technology, uh, technology uh, information technology become a society by himself or herself. Are you ready to meet the pace of societal development? the pace of developing the society, then being able to make the expected social change needed by societies, they want social change. Can we meet their expectation? Are you ready to rest against the time? Wrestle against the social cultural philosophy of thinking and struggle with your soul, mind, spirit, and consciousness to do that? Are you ready to make these marvelous, amazing, and challengeable achievements selflessly, like uh, what you call it, uh, uh, Nobel Peace Prize, become winner? Achievement, okay, amazing and challengeable achievements selflessly and not caring. Listen to this: whether history mentioned you or mentioning other lying hypocrites and wicked cunning people who have stolen your work. Are you ready to do that? Are you ready to live without provision? To travel without riding vehicles or animals and being guided without a mentoring guide? This is the challenges. This is the challenges. Are you ready to be the first to give? the first to grant, 
the first become patient, persistent, alarmed, and the first of those who protect humanity in our time. Are you ready to do what skies, mountains, and earth refuse to do? Young men, young women, the real challenge will face us in this part of the lecture is the citizen citizens character building citizen citizens character building that will enable such citizen to bring joy and happiness to people as well as other creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala if you are the right people to stand up for these challenges and I believe you are please lead us and will be your fellow supporters and followers happy to walk in your shadow you and us are like what the ever shining suns if you have these moral values what are the moral values which make you ever uh, uh, ever shining suns piety humility flexibility reconciling with oneself experience knowledge wisdom and will be following the societies deeply inside this path searching beneath hidden hearts of people history and culture you will become the dynamic energizing fuel for all progressive social justice movements you will become the dynamic and the energizing fuel for all progressive social justice movements. So let us take the second, third, and fourth, and even more steps till our nations reach the safety shore for our society. The link of the whole talk is on the, at the bottom. The third talk of building geometric lines is like that. In part one, we discussed how to build our site, uh, like a house, that we are going to live inside such a house. In part two, we discussed the required services for our human soul. We also discussed dangers arising from this social media revolution, which might lead to the destruction of the universe. Why? Listen to this. There is no knowledge without belief, gu gu guiding, guiding and guarding. No capacity without certainty, and no civilization without morality. It is called belief, morality, and certainty. But we nowadays have lost faith, certainty, and morality. That's why our science, technology, and new discoveries could destroy our lives. In part three, we were discussing the values of postulates. What do you mean by postulates? We take for granted and was provided to us by Allah, like the sun, like the moon, like the sky, like the rain. All these are postulates, things take for granted. The day and night and all this. And from such a granted God-given provisions, we together can lay down the foundation for building a, the complete integrated society that we want to live within it is com communities did we get the message young people there is still time to build this integrated society where all creation of allah can live happily together we have seen the developmental stages of this society, of this social movement, uh, movement within the depth of the human soul. We have seen the developmental stages of this social movement within the depth of human soul, flowing beneath its social path and the complicated structured compounds and composites, which I mentioned before, that are managing and protecting and driving their flow inside such path. But now we will move to the stage of building 
the integrated distinctive social movement and society. The word integrated does not mean assimilation or dissolving, but it means pluralism and distinction. Integration also means that citizens through their different cultures, values, and histories will be able to live together, complementing one another towards visualizing a comprehensive vision to build a society where it is foundation becomes the distinctive integration and its structure becomes complementary in creating the effective action sustaining a society that will bring happiness and joy to humanity. Have we been advised, young people, that there's still some time to build the integrated, distinctive, comprehensive society that will bring happiness and joy to everyone? I have started this tripartite lecture, the three lectures which I mentioned, with you, young people, a few months ago, by drawing one line, only one line, one line by, I want to talk only about the history, but my line took me to different things. By one drawing one line to design the parallels that can explain how to write history. Then such parallel lines drove me inside the society to draw the societal path, compounds, composites, social blocks, crossing lines, entangling lines, synonymous lines, sequential lines, and symmetrical lines. Then we spoke about the information technology and social media revolutions which might eventually lead to what? The destruction of the planet Earth or even the universe. Then these lines, which I drew, which started by one line, drove us again into the developmental stages of building the social pyramidal integration process, social pyramidal integration process, where we discovered four sequential step pyramids inside it, where we discover four the sequential uh, step pyramids inside it. By looking closely and deeply inside these pyramids, we found 44 social values, facts, principles, and foundation. Inside the four pyramids, 44 social values, facts, principles and foundation. Let us be aware, young people, that if we step out for the first step, such a step will enable us to create the social bonds needed to build the integrated, distinctive, comprehensive society. Clear? I hope it's clear for you. Our journey is not going to be for one for hours days, weeks, or months, but will take years, era of time and generation. This is our journey. So are you ready, young people, to step the first step or to draw the first line inside the journey of building this social movement? Please note, wise young people, that every line we draw for our society will become the beginning of a journey that can create the expected social change needed by society. Life, its planets and galaxies are made of consistent groups of coordinated, organized, magnificently, geomet geometrically entangling lines inside that sprawling universe. I'll say this again. Life, its planets, and galaxies are made out of consistent groups of coordinated, organized, magnificently, ge geometrically entangling lines inside that sprawling universe. Every creation, small or big, young or old, planet or galaxy, 
sun or moon, human or animal, plant or inanimate, fluid or stone, desert or ocean, mountains or valleys, insects or birds, and others created by Allah, and are, function, are functioning according to this marvelously complicated structured system of creation inside every living creature of Allah. They have the same system. They have the same system. Every creation, small or big, young or old, planet or galaxy, sun or moon, human or animal, plant or uh, inanimate, fluid or stone, desert or ocean, mountains or valleys, insects or birds, and others created by Allah, and are what functioning according to this marvelously complicated structured system of creation inside every living creature of Allah. All of them have the same system. Our society that we are trying to create together is like this big living structure. We are trying to build on this sprawling world. And we are trying to build this big structure. Our society that we are trying to create together is like this big living structure. We are trying to build on what? On these sprawling ground spaces. Sprawling ground spaces. These temporal times striking, striking inside the depth of history. These local cultures and philosophies sprouting among the twigs of nation. And all of these are following the same system made by Allah to create every creation of him. Say it again. Our society that we are trying to create together, okay, is like this big living structure. We are trying to build on what? On these sprawling ground spaces. This temporal time striking inside the depth of history. These local cultures and philosophies sprouting among the twigs of nation and all of these are following the same system made by Allah to create every creation of him. If we know the fact of life, if you know the fact of life's geometry, we will be able to understand that life or the life has a magnificent creator organizing the geometries of constructing its planets and galaxies according to the marvelously and magnificent engineering system, crippling the intellectual thinking abilities of thinkers and scientific, and scientific uh, researchers. If we know the fact of life's geometry, we will be able to understand that the life has a magnificent creator organizing such the geometries of constructing its planets and galaxies according the marvelously and magnificent engineering system crippling the intellectual thinking abilities of thinkers and scientific researchers. SubhanAllah. My respected young men, I raise these five questions to you. Are we really strong? Are we ready to accept advice? Are we aware what's happening around us? Are we ready <coughs> to go? Are we ready to walk the journey together? I have made these inquiries, young people, to make us aware that there is no randomness Listen to this. Please be patient with me. Still more talks to go. Two talks to go. I have made these inquiries, young people, to make us aware what? Aware of what? That there's no randomness in action, narrow-mindedness in thinking, regression, huh? regression and limitation in strategic planning, but following the gradual cognition when implanting the milestones of our societal path. Oh. There is no, there is no what? Randomness in action, narrow-mindedness in thinking, 
regression and delimitation in strategic planning, but following the gradual cognition when implanting the milestones of our societal path. Societal paths are found where societies will be flowing. Societal paths are found where societies, where societies will be flowing between their flanks and shrubberies. According to properly organized, comprehensive, tight, and simple road maps that are seen by the far and the near and are following the societal flow to make the expected social change towards building what? The integrated, distinctive, comprehensively established society. Thank you. This is actually the link for the third talk of geometry. Yaman, come back to Yaman. Yaman. Is this how we treat our Yemen? The talk also been delivered. We have discussed what happened to our happy Yemen, Yemen side. Yemen that will, will be happy forever, inshallah. Our crucial role, young people, is multi dimensional. It's central or axial, crosswise, major, complementarily, basically or essential, futuristic, commanding, and leading to build Yemen without God. This is the dimension of our role. Okay, first dimension being pivotal, crosswise crossing means. What does it mean? Crosswise crossing. Being overlapping and engaging with all the social problems facing Yemen. Crossing crosswise to, to interact with all and engage with actually all the different problems of Yemen. Working hard to face these problems and finding effective solution for them. This is number one. Crossing. How what do you mean by being central? We will become the initiative creators, the initiatives creators who will lead such initiatives to serve our people. This is our role. What does it mean to become complementary? It means that we will complement the roles played by one another. Then between ourselves and the other Yemeni partners in Yemen, with Yemen diaspora, then with those partners who love Yemen and want to help Yemen and Yemeni and the government. Okay. What do you mean by being basically and essential? Basically, we'll be emerging from our profound belief in the right of every creation in Yemen, right of what? To live. Right of every creation of Yemen to live. We are those who will stay up to serve human birds, animals, and animate, inanimate. Stay up to protect cultures, values, manners, history, renaissance, civilization, science, and technology. These have to be basic and essential. What do we do, do we mean by being futuristic in our role as young people in Yemen? It means that we should see that where we should see the future in the eyes of whom? Of Yemeni of every Yemeni. What happened to him or her? Suffered and became patient. Was distressed, but accomplished. Deprived, but gave. Blocked, but bestowed. Become oppressed, but adjusted. Fallen, but fixed other. Made dead, but invigorate others. Satisfied, but gratified others and become gratified. Thank it, but praised. Being pure, but commend. Ruled to be ruled. Hurt, but forgave. Permitted, but directed. Loved, but sacrificed. Prostrated, but being aware. Worshipped, 
to safety and to worship satisfy and died but made others happy. This is this is what the Yemeni people who are suffering having for us. Be futuristic to bring this for them in the future. Being commanding and leading, the Syrian young people in Yemen, means leadership in fairness, consciousness in wisdom, spending in humility, risking but knowing, sacrificing in certainty, leniency in firmness, vision in insightfulness, tranquility in peacefulness, safety in clemency, hearing in knowledge, consideration in friendlessness, this 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 damnfulness in honor, chivalry in help, determination in craving, clarity in serenity, altruism in generosity, glory in firmament, eternity in the hearts, and sublimity in remembrance. These are the dimensions of your role, young people, when you play this in your mourn. We will mourn to make Yemen happy. We will live to make Yemen unique. We will remain to guide and correct. We will strive to excellently elevate Yemen and prostrate to make her magnificent. Thank you. This is the full lecture at the bottom. You want to go and listen to it. The last talk. She took nearly uh, just one hour now. Be patient for him for another five, 10 minutes. Is terrorism and industry? It became a compelling necessity, undoubtedly, to believe that we are not terrorists, but terrorists are those who accused others of being terrorists without proof, evidence, or investigation. Terrorism is not a part of our religion or any other religion. Those who terrorize innocent people are not amongst the believers in tolerance and good heartedness of Islam, even if they call themselves Muslims. Islam is the religion of peace and submission to Allah. Islam is the religion of power, protection, knowledge, science, technology, research, development and guidance. Islam is the religion of brotherhood, equality, contemplation in God's creation, society's building, eliminating justice, eliminating injustice, sorry, eliminating injustice, establishing justice, benevolence, and loyalty to our homeland. Islam having numerous enemies at different eras of time, and sometimes those enemies could be could be the ignorant Muslims themselves. Islam is calling to do the following. To do the following. What? Reconstructive growth and development of universe. Reconstructive growth and development of universe. This is number one. Societal building. Knowledge-based acquaintance and education. Number three. Rational guidance. Wise control, right manners, merciful action, kind companionship, constructive brotherhood, highness in humanity, provision in sympathy, bravery in synergy, steadiness in invincibility, reasonableness in assembly, and existence in content contentment. This is what Islam is calling us to do. I'll say it again. Calling us to do reconstructive growth and development, number one, of the universe. Societal building, number two. Knowledge-based acquaintance and education, number three. Rational guidance, number four. Wise control, number five. Right manner, number six. Merciful action, number seven. Kind companionship, number, uh, number eight. Constructive brotherhood, number, uh, number nine. Uh, highness in humility, number 10. Provision in sympathy, number 11. Bravery and synergy, number 12. Steadiness and invincibility, number uh, 12, 13. Reasonableness in assembly, 
and the existence in, in, content, in, uh, in, in contentment, number 14 and 15. Islam is the religion of renaissance and civilization, honor and pride, forgiveness and brotherhood, patience and reconstructions, soul and redemption, love and growth, justice and judgment, elevation and the highness, exertion with generosity and path for the happy ones. Islam is the religion of renaissance and civilization, two, honor and pride, four, forgiveness and brotherhood, six, patience and reconstruction, eight, soul and redemption, 10, love and growth, 12, justice and judgment, 14, elevation and highness, 16, exertion with generosity, 18, path for happy ones, 19. Young people, Oh, sorry, Islam also. Islam, sorry, sorry, sorry. I didn't finish. Islam is enormous, and nothing can narrow it. Don't narrow, don't narrow your fiqh opinion. Islam is enormous, and nothing can narrow it. Flowing is spring, and no one can make it dry. Firm, and no one can break it. Just, and no one can outrage it. Holy and no one can filth it. Ingrained and no one can uproot it. Impermeable and no one can penetrate it. Lofty and no one can defeat it. External according to the law of eternity. That's Islam. Enormous and nothing can narrow it. Flowing spring and no one can make it dry. Firm and no one can break it. Just and no one can outrage it. Holy and no one can filth it. Ingrained and no one can uproot it. Implement, uh, impermeable and no one can penetrate it. Lofty and no one can defeat it. Eternal according to the law of eternity. Don't be low. Don't be sad for you are the highest. Surah Yusuf. The last slide of this 10 talk, 10th talk. Please don't, young people, don't give up because of the darkness of your society. Why? Because you are the beacon for nations. Don't become desperate because of failure. You are the source of hope. Don't linger. You are the sign of persistence. Don't cry over separation. You are the aim of the yearner. Don't be desperate from threatening. You are the dawn for every feast. Don't be scared from screaming. You are the light of every morning. Don't run away from bogies. You are the attribution of the grieved. Don't be low and don't be sad. You are the highest if you are believers and you are. This, are. this is the link at the bottom for the talk. To conclude uh, my talk today, I have some, I have, I have, I've been communicating with you young people in Arabic and English languages from different places on this planet, among different groups in different times and zones from overseas and oceans, crossing the skies, the desert, and under the shade of trees, and the banks of river, in my audio and visual communication, in my secrecy and publicly, whispery and memory, intellectual and auditory, visual and insight, suffering and happiness, dreams and vigilance, oversight and percentership, percentership, hate and love, humiliation and honor, dislike and affection, indignity and sublimity, closeness and foreignness, day and night, certainty and consciousness, grace and hardship, sorrow and joy, revive and death. 
by my pulse and heart, concern and thoughts, suffering and pleasure. Please, please again, I'm not going to feel tired. I'm not tired. I'm not going to give up. I'm going to be depressed or fed up. I will keep knocking the doors of life for you to let you awaken the living dead. You have to awaken the living dead. Or continue seeking for you to be accommodated in this life and in the hereafter. We'll keep calling for you forever, whether alive or dead in my graveyard. But if I die, my soul will be calling you and saying them. Or my soul will be calling you and say that. To each one of you, through reviving your life, you are reviving your society's life. Through reviving your life, Allah will bring safety and happiness to your countries. Through reviving your life, creations will ask Allah for your forgiveness. Through reviving your life, generations forever will remember your achievement. Through reviving your life, you obtain the happiness of your Lord. Through reviving your life, paradise will rejoice in you. Allah bless you. You are the living of the living. I thank you very much for being very patient with me in this uh, one hour and 10 minutes. And if there's nothing, uh, Ali, if there's nothing, we can close. Ali? Uh, okay. Okay, fine. Okay, Sam Alec Mahmoud Lawrence.